All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Crew Light mod, which is being made by forum user Lion. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an automatic light manager, which will, of course, automatically turn on or off the lights of your ships, given certain exterior circumstances. And we'll talk about what all those circumstances and criteria are momentarily, uh, but before that, I I do actually want to mention that uh, this was not my original idea for tonight's video. Now, whenever I go to make one of these, I have a mod in mind that I want to do, but I always like to go and check the forums before recording just in case something new popped up that I like even more. This is that mod that I liked even more. So this is a very, very new mod. As of the time of recording this video, it released three hours ago. So keep that in mind, guys, because there are going to be a couple of rough edges on this thing. And one particular thing that's a bit buggy for my liking at the moment, but hopefully it will be fixed in future versions. But overall, even with that one bug that gets to me, I love this mod and plan on keeping it in my personal save file that I play around with in this game because it is quite useful, as well as adding some interesting sort of, uh, how should we say, atmospheric elements to the game which are quite cool. So let's jump into the space plane hangar and talk about how all this works. And uh, thankfully, we don't actually have to look at any parts, we're just here to uh, explain some things. So there's nothing you actually have to strap to your ship to get the lights to automatically go on and off what you are interested in first and foremost for one of the features is command pods as well as crew cabins such as this one or the hitchhiker storage container as one of the fun features in this that's actually quite useful is that whenever there is a Kerbal inside of a crewable part such as a command pod or a crew container the lights will automatically be on. If there's no Kerbal inside, they'll be off. And that is extraordinarily useful if you like building large space stations up there in orbit and you're trying to transfer crew around onto, say, a mission ship bound for another planet. You're usually sitting there clicking on parts going, oh god, where did I put that Kerbal? Well now, you know, if the lights are on, there's Kerbals to be transferred. If the lights are off, there's no one in that container to move. And I really love that feature because it's at a glance I can see where all my Kerbals are at. And that's just very handy. Not only that, but it actually does kind of add an atmospheric element of sorts because, yeah, on big space stations, you'll have certain containers with lights on, certain containers with lights off, uh, as if, you know, there's people working in those certain sections and other sections lying dormant, etc. So it kind of makes the world feel a bit more dynamic, which is kind of interesting. Now, that is in regards to the crew cabins and the crew within them. So again, if there's crew in it, it'll be lit up. Now, as for exterior lights, ho oh, this is a fun one. What you have here is any exterior light, and it doesn't matter if it's a modded in one, so long as it normally would be added to the light action group, what will happen is if you turn it off from the light action group, this light right here will now automatically turn on when the sun goes down and then we'll turn back off again when the sun goes up. Now this is also the big bug that I have at the moment. It turns off the lights, in my opinion, way too early when the sun's about to rise, so you still have a little bit of darkness in between light turning off and actual sunrise happening. Hopefully that gets fixed. It's something that hopefully can be tweaked, but uh, for right now it's kind of weird. But still, it's quite cool when you're on, say, a Duna base, to suddenly have all the lights on the entire base come on as the sun is going down. It, again, it's atmospheric, but it's also quite a useful tool, as now, well, all the lights are on. I don't have to worry about turning that on or off. It just happens. Now, you still can have lights in your action group, if you so desire, so that you can manually toggle these things on or off, but any of them that should be in here but aren't, 
will automatically come on or go off with the sunrise and sunset, which is quite cool. Now, there's a couple other features that we're going to talk about, but we need to go outside to do that. So what we're going to do is load up a ship here, the crew light vessel that I made earlier. And we got a lot of fun lights here. I just want to double check that these things, yes, they were added back into the action group. Now, see, this is an interesting thing because I saved this ship with all these off but it added them back into the action group for some reason. I don't know why, you'd think it would save the those action groups, but apparently it doesn't with the lights. So let's turn that off, crew it with two people, there we go, and let's go out to the runway so that we can actually see these things automatically going on and off. That's uh, one thing I definitely wanted to check before we launched. Now you can see already off the bat here, we have lights on in the command pod as well as in the crew cabin. But if we transfer Valentina out of this into the back, there we go, that light goes off because she's no longer in there. There's nobody in that command pod for it to be lit up with, which is quite awesome. I really, really do love that feature. And let's move her back in. There we go, and the light comes back on. And alternatively, if uh, well, I extend the ladder for Bob here so he doesn't plop to the ground, if we get him out of the back here, EVA, the lights went off, because again, no one in the back of the truck but we now have him outside to explore and so that is a very cool feature so we know that there's no one inside here right now so we can definitely know that there's room for a Kerbal to go back in and it's just a cool thing to have that I quite enjoy. Now, another new feature that gets added in is, uh, you know how you can interact with certain things like ladders to attract and extend these when you're out on EVA? Well, before, you couldn't interact with lights. Now you can. You can toggle these on and off now, which is quite fun. Just a fun little additional thing. So if you do have your Kerbal working outside, like say you have the Kerbal inventory system installed and you're trying to attach something and you need a little bit of extra light, there you go, you can turn one of those lights on and be good to go. Now another thing is, of course, our EVA helmet lights. They're off by default right now, but one of the fun things that gets added in by this mod is if it is nighttime, or alternatively space, because well, frankly, it's kind of always night in space, really, the lights on the EVA suit will automatically be on. So it's a cool feature. Now it only will detect that when you leave a capsule or a crew hatch, whatever. So when you're out and about, if they're on and then suddenly the sun comes up, they won't automatically turn off for the Kerbals. They will for these lights, but not for Kerbals. It just auto detects when you leave the ship, whether they should be on or not, which we'll show that off later here, but let's get him back inside for the time being. And there we, oh, nope, that's the camera button. There we are, bored, lovely. And so what we're gonna do is now that we've gone over those features, we've got a few other features which we'll talk about with that cart over there in a moment. But first, let's actually accelerate time so you can see these lights automatically come on. Now, of course, that we've turned them off from an action group at launch. If we speed up time tonight. And... There we go, they've come on automatically. And remember, I, you guys saw me turn off the action group, so even if I hit this button right now, these would not go on or off. Basically, they use sort of the same timing as the buildings in the background, or at least it's what I thought. Now again, cool that they came on pretty well when the sun went down, but if we accelerate time again, and watch when they go off. There, they went off now, but we still got a lot of nighttime left which is my big bug with this at the moment. It's just kind of a weird little annoyance. I mean, if they were using the same timing as these buildings, you'd think that it'd be the same, but it's not. It goes off a bit early. Now, I've tried this uh, on two different computers and three different Kerbal Space Program installs that I have, so uh, that's not just happening with one version. I'm getting that bug in all of them, so hopefully it gets fixed. Remember, this mod is only three hours old at the time of releasing this video, but it is still cool that they will come on when the lights, or when the sun goes down. Now, the next feature that we have that we're gonna show off is notice that we have another ship over there. 
What's cool about this is an interesting feature that it has is as you approach a ship, whether it's on land, in space, etc., when you get a certain distance, it will start flashing its lights in a Morse code message. Now, apparently the message right now is ta, so, you know, they're saying hello, basically. But in a config file for this mod, you can change it to anything you want, and it will Morse code flash the message with the lights as you approach. And then once you get to, say, docking distance, it will then turn off the lights so you can have a nice view. So it's cool though, because you see the lights as you approach, which are kind of a, again, just a nice atmospheric thing. So as we get closer, let's wait for it. It should come on soon. There we go. The lights just turned on, off again, on, off again, on, etc. doing that in Morse code. So if we get like right here-ish, there we go, you can see it continue to flash, and it's not just the headlights, etc., it's also the internal lights of the ship. And it will keep on doing that ta message in Morse code until you get really, really close. So again, if you were docking with a space station, there we go. The station lights of all the command pods have stayed on, but the lights have turned off and you're good to go for docking so it's not too distracting. I really like that feature. It may not be the most useful thing in the world, but it's very cool and atmospheric for, you know, just a cool thing to happen when you are approaching a space station. And that's just awesome. How could you not love that? So what we're gonna do for the last thing is of course show off the uh, EVA helmet, uh, the auto detection of that. So if we fast forward time again to the evening, the lights should come on. And actually I'm curious because that other ship should also be set up to turn on the lights automatically. Hey, they are both working, perfect. So even though we're not inside of that ship, its lights did also come on with the night. So let's get out to Bob and hopefully his helmet should be on. This has normally worked for me. Uh, and yes, they are, excellent. Perfect, so see, it has detected that it is nighttime, so there we go. And uh, that is a fun thing with this mod. Now, like I said, there is a settings config file that you can change that Morse code message, but you can also change all of these other things. So if you don't like the lights turning on or off with the sunrise and sunset, you can turn that off. If you don't like the helmet coming on, you can turn that off. If you don't like the crew lights coming on when there's someone inside of a crew container, you can turn that on or off. So there's a lot of fun config options with that. So if you, you can customize it to however you desire, which is quite cool. But overall, I love it mainly for the atmospheric reasons of it. It's just cool to have these lights come on automatically. The fun Morse code messages when you're going to dock in at a space station. And you know, just the usefulness of not having to always remember, oh yeah, I've got to turn on my lights for this and this. That just happens. It just happens. And that is a fun thing. So if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. And I definitely say to go and give it a try because, well, it's fun and just it has a lot of interesting uses. But that is really it for this video today. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course, you do come back for the next when we'll be ho looking at what hopefully will be another fun mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Now I'm actually going to go away. Does it start the Morse code up again? I haven't actually tried this yet. Nope, nope, only when you're on approach to the target. Excellent, perfect, perfect. Well, later, folks.